Whoa, it's like we're chilling on my bed together. <gasps> Dad's game has just posted Sims 4. <gasps> hey, what's up, you guys? And welcome back to the Seriously Sick. Invincible. So, welcome to week two on the Seriously Sick. I hope you guys enjoyed everyone on the channel let's just talk about my makeup i was like i'm too lazy to do eyeliner so i should do like a natural look with it and then i was like let's just put a bunch of red eyeshadow under my eye and then match it with some red lipstick for week two on the seriously sick uh it is mental health week also i wish you guys could see the lights in my room like it's cute anyway so for mental health week i wanted to talk about my personal mental health journey with something i've been dealing with for like three years now. So for people who do not know or who have never been on my channel before or have never heard me talk about this personally about myself or just new to this channel in general, um, three years ago, I started to starve myself. I was in middle school, it was like my eighth grade year. I just remember it started out by me wanting to like lose weight. I remember I would watch all these like beauty guru YouTubers and I was like, oh, they're so tiny. And like, I wanted to like, get really fashionable and stuff and I was like but I don't look good in anything the doctors would tell me I was overweight and stuff and that would bother me a lot but for the most part I wasn't I don't know like I would get upset that I was bigger before but I never did any it was I was never upset enough to do anything about it and I started doing something about it basically I like didn't eat food and the food I did it was really little like I would have meals but it was like, <laughs> I would have a banana for breakfast, uh, 80 calorie Dana and yogurt. See, I know, I, know the, I know the calories to a lot of things still after like three years. Um, 80 calorie like Dana and yogurt for lunch. And then for dinner, I would have another 80 calorie yogurt. Or so, and, and if I was lucky, I would have celery sticks with it. And then I would drink a bunch of oolong tea, which is basically green tea, but like stronger. That's not ideal. That's not a lot of food. And I lost a lot of weight from it and I got a lot of compliments. So it went on for a bit until one day I realized what I was doing was bad. I was fainting and stuff. I was making everyone around me upset. I can't remember exactly what the switch was, but I, st I, know, I know I started watching like these body building youtubers <laughs> and i was like yeah i'm gonna get healthy and i started eating like protein bars and stuff i was doing all this stuff and i was like yeah i'm so healthy i still wasn't eating like i was eating like more than i was before but like to me now it still doesn't seem like a lot of food like i would have a, a like fill a pan with egg whites and like but then i would have that on like a bed of spinach but it wasn't like enough and I would have like a slice of toast with peanut butter on the side but it was like 100 calorie toast so I got into that but at the same time on like the weekends or if I would go out with friends I would binge eat I would eat so much and it was because my body was starving and I would just eat all this freaking food and um and I thought that I was immediately recovered from my eating disorder but like what I didn't know is that I was getting another eating disorder I went from anorexia and a little bit like of bulimia to eating a lot and then restricting again and this was a yo-yo I was on for like most of this three year period like I wanted to lose weight still I was eating to lose weight not to like enjoy life like I was I was eating so I would lose weight uh, basically and so the binging and starving just went on for so so long I've kind of fixed myself actually out of the binging and eating over the summer I was still having troubles with eating and not eating until field hockey preseason was starting soon and I wanted to get in shape for it so I completely like changed things up a bit. I'm trying to do this thing at the moment where I try to only eat things that are like ingredients that I know <laughs> it, or like it's got few ingredients. You know what I'm saying? 
I guess. And I, it, it's involved me making my own food a lot. I've just changed my way of eating and I've changed my idea of eating and I'm eating for health and not for weight loss. I, I don't think, I mean, I have gone down a few pant sizes, yes. I've lost some weight, but it's, it's almost like I don't care about it. Like my mentality about myself has changed. I haven't stood in front of my mirror and like told myself that I, I'm disgusting or anything in like the longest time just because I've changed my diet almost. I'm drinking so much water. I don't know. I just, I don't, maybe it's a placebo. Maybe it's not the way I'm eating that's changed my mind. Maybe it's just I got over it. That's not any of my concerns. Like if there's any stress in my life, it's not food for once. And that's something I was trying to get back for like three years. And it's like I finally just kind of did it. And so this is kind of like how I got over my eating disorder. And I'm, I, get, I feel almost weird saying that because I've felt before like I was over it and then it would come back because I feel like once you have some disordered eating, it's always in your head no matter what, but I haven't felt that in so long. Like, to anyone who's going through um, disordered eating, I wanna let you know that there is a way to get out of it. The calories obviously don't matter. I'm losing weight and probably eating like 2000 calories a day. That's just a guess. Maybe that's more than what I'm eating, but like it feels like I'm eating 2000 calories a day. I don't even know because I don't track my calories. But dude, like if you're just, if you're in that state of mind where you're like, I have to like not eat anything, or you're like, I feel like I'm eating everything and I can't stop, just stop thinking about food so much because that's what I had to do. I don't know. I just, all I know is that I don't hate myself and. I don't bully myself in the mirror anymore. This was kind of more of a rambling video and I'm really sorry. I just, maybe this was like more therapy for me. Um, I think I have like an actual nice relationship with food again, which is something I haven't had in a while. I gotta sum it up. I gotta think about what I'm saying. Okay, truly, truly, if anyone is out there is dealing with some disordered eating in any form, I don't care what it is, uh, feel free to message me on like Instagram or something and uh, if you want to get over it, let's get over it together. Yeehaw. <laughs> I've, since I'm filming this ahead, I can't wait to watch what everyone else makes because I I love them all. Um, I'm going to link all the Seriously Sick social media down below and along <laughs> and I'm also going to link all my social media down below. It's all Music for VJ along with, um, wow. Cars. <laughs> Along with my YouTube channel and my um, music Instagram, Nair underscore music. Hang in there and don't give up, man, because there's always going to be a solution. I'm your Wednesdays. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> All right, bye, lovelies. Have a seriously sick day. Uh, I can't reach. <laughs>